here in Texas working on greening the desert. <laughs> so Sean, tell us a little bit about your project, Dustups. What is it? Dustups is now a centropic agroforestry project in the middle, in the most isolated spot in the state of Texas. I'm in the Chihuahuan Desert and we're standing on 320 acres that we are just beginning to give some life to. We're, we're harvesting mulch and starting to baby what's already here to get it growing and give us a source of mulch so we can start improving and adding energy into the system. Tell us a little bit about your journey with uh, Tiago and the team of Syntropic Solutions. How has that been so far? Uh, it's been great. I went from flailing and wondering why my project was going so slow and I, I think my wife put it best that I've gone from trying random stuff from every video I ever watched on YouTube to now I've got an organized plan that gives me confidence that I know is going to work. Obviously having you here is enormously helpful, but just the, the background education and having Mauricio and uh, Ju explain why we're doing things the way we are and the thought process behind it, the importance of being so meticulous because when you're standing here in the desert and you're literally organizing sticks, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't having second guess. I wasn't second guessing you, but, uh, but why am I here? But uh, I, I know that if you're standing here in the desert and you're literally organizing sticks and you flew from Australia to Texas to be here, that there's probably a reason that you're doing that. It's not just you being anal. <laughs> so, uh, like, watching you guys do the work, too. I mean, you're, you're not going to do that process if you don't believe in it because it's extra work. It's a lot easier just to throw stuff everywhere. If you're going to take the time to organize it, I'm sure there's a reason, and it's backed by experience. You look at this place here with uh, the new knowledge that you acquired in the last year with us, and look what's growing, and... All the previous experience that you had trying things here, how confident you are now that these will work? I'm exceptionally confident because it, it makes sense. It, it really wasn't the logic of what you were telling me. It was being willing to expend the energy to go to the extra effort to be so meticulous in, about everything, about the mulch harvesting, about the way we plant, about the timing. It, they, I always consider myself a systems and a process person and you outdo me to the nth degree, uh, which is funny. I feel like I'm getting my traits shoved in my face, uh, but it's a good thing. It's for a reason. Like I, I'm ultimately here to build a desert forest and I wouldn't be following your system if I didn't believe in it. Okay. So what did I do here? I'm trying to connect a zero shrub with that little pony plant and two other plants around. So connecting these uh, shrubs and plants that were already growing there, uh, connecting them with um, a gar creating a garden bed, or should I say a nest, where all those plants would be connected using all the organic matter from the plants that was around that we pruned. And we used cactus planting around the nests. And the idea with these nests was to have some sort of garden beds around the camping area for biomass collection, uh, holding the moisture, and eventually, if we want to grow anything, it should be good to have some uh, shade around the camping area. We did the different shapes and different forms to show to Sean that it can be done close to Tell us how's been your experience with um, Centropic Solutions and me and Jill and everyone. It's amazing because I've floundered out here for a year really trying to push and make some progress and what I did would have quote unquote worked but on a geologic time scale whereas now we're just really hitting the gas making progress and I there's so many really basic things that I understood but there's a difference between understanding and then knowing what to do next and that was a huge missing point for me is meeting Tiago to make me slow down understand the process and the principles of why we're doing things the way we are so that we go a little slower in the beginning so we can go faster later. Do you also understand the importance of um, starting with a design even though design will tweak along the, t along the way and also that long-term 
working together for at least two or three years so you can really understand that process for anyone who wants to get started do you think that for them to call us and get started. yeah for sure but you got to have the long term in mind you're not going to just get a plan and off you go like the chances of you just knowing exactly what to do and how to prepare the system and how to deal with nuanced questions that pop up how to prune everything uh, you need to have that long-term mindset because you absolutely need mentorship you need somebody to guide you through the process and i uh, I, I can't recommend you more highly thank you bro really appreciate it yeah, thank you let's go towards abundance <laughs> <laughs> just spent like a week in texas um, working in a place that was very degraded and setting up a plan that's going to be a long-term plan but and then driving out we passed through this old forest where you can see that the microclimate here is a little bit different the types of grasses here are a little bit different you see clumps of grasses that are more vigorous and the trees that we see here that is that big tree on the back there look the size of the trunk of the tree and that's the type of forest that we can build in a very short period of time there a lot of people say that yeah we need more water but the same rain that falls there i'm talking like 10 miles 20 miles away from here is the same rain that falls here the wind that's blowing here is the same wind that blows there the only difference is accumulation of organic matter and you can see here because it's a little gully where all the organic matter stops here that's where we need that's what we need to do here so stay tuned i'll keep you guys posted dust up dust ups project it's gonna be amazing to watch the abundance blooming in the desert of chihuahua if you or anyone that you know need any help on building your food forest anywhere in a house block or in a farm or even reforest a desert, please send me a message. Thank you.